Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. You saw the title, you clicked on this video, you know what it's going to be. All of the links to all of the jeans that I can find will be in the description box below, um, as well as if I don't mention my sizing throughout the video, which I'm sure I will, it will also be down there as well. So refer to the description box if you want any further information. I will start off by saying that I am 5'4". I am shaped like and built like an athlete so I have the butt I have some thighs I have a skinnier snatch I guess you'd say waist um, so needless to say it's been quite difficult for me and also I'm sure a lot of you can relate uh, throughout the years to find jeans that actually fit in all of the right places um, and I will get into the number one store that I found the best quality jeans that fit me the absolute best we'll get into that and I'm sure you'll be able to tell which brand it is but I'm going to start off with the first pair of jeans that I currently have on which you'll see in the try on um, these are the Agoldi 90s jeans and I will say they are quite expensive however if you are ever wanting to invest in a pair of jeans, these jeans are literally perfection and I have raved about them nonstop. I think I got them almost a year ago and I have truly gotten my money's worth ever since I purchased them. They are so amazing. Of course, no pressure to purchase a ridiculously expensive pair of jeans whatsoever. I wear a 25 in these jeans and I will say they are huge because my typical true to size, I would say now I've lost some weight um, within the past year and I'd say now my true size is probably a 26. However, I still wear a 27 and a 26, but these jeans run super big and at the time when I purchased them, I was a true 27. I definitely could have still gone down, like I could go down at least to a 23 now I'd say. These definitely do run big. Now we'll get into my lightest wash pair of jeans and these are just a typical white pair of jeans from Abercrombie. These are the ultra high rise ankle straight jeans and this cut of jeans from Abercrombie is by far one of my favorites from them. They fit in all of the right places. They're extremely flattering and I feel as though I've gotten a lot of people hooked on these jeans. Um, in these specifically, I have a size 26 and I'd say they fit true to size for me. Like I said, I am kind of in between that 26 and 27. I really can do either. Um, it just all depends. So these fit true to size. All Abercrombie jeans fit true to size in my opinion and that is what I always recommend to anyone who is purchasing. This next pair of jeans is my only pair of like a beige colored denim which I became obsessed with this past summer and they are from Urban Outfitters. It's the BDG line which I am quite honestly not a fan of just because I find as though with my body type they don't fit in all of the right places but these I got lucky and they do most likely because they do flare out but these are the high end wide high-rise jeans. I got them in a size 26 and they fit true to size on me. I will say uh, when I did purchase these I could not find them online so I can see if I can find these um, or something very similar from the BDG line and I'll link that in the description box for you. This next pair is totally more so like a trendy pair of jeans because these do have the split ankles, which I am so obsessed with. They're not necessarily like a flare. I wouldn't say they're a boot cut. I'd say they're kind of in between and they are from the brand English Factory. I do believe you can get them at Express. I personally got these from a boutique in Philly. I got these in a size 26 and they fit very true to size for me. 
This next pair is from Princess Polly. These are another pair of jeans that I get quite a lot of use out of just because they're your typical light wash denim and then they have two very very simple rips in the knees and they have a raw hemline at the bottom. I do not know the exact name of these jeans off the top of my head so that will be linked below but these are a US 4. Definitely... A little bit big on me but not too too big I'd say my true size like I said is or was a true 27 or a true 4 I wouldn't necessarily go down a size in these though um, they're a little bit big but they shrink in the wash a little bit too so I'd stick to your true size with these personally next pair of denim is from Petal and Pup I got a size US 4 in them they fit very true to size um, they are more like a flared out jean these are super super flattering on especially if you have a little bit more of like some thighs and a butt you know what I mean they look super good on um, I really really love these a lot but I do feel as though they're more like a summer spring pant I don't really wear them that much I haven't worn them much throughout the fall slash winter but these are super cute I think they're very fun and would go really nice with a lot of spring and summer tops like I said so if you are very interested in the a goldie 90s denim that I first showed I found a dupe from Abercrombie which they just released this year actually not this year because it's 2021 in 2020 they did release it and they are the 90s these straight ultra high rise jeans these are so amazing they fit like an absolute glove these fit true to size the goldie denim do not fit true to size I got my true 27 in these or a US 4 and they are very similar in that they have the rips at the knees. They are a little bit more fitting though than the Ogoldi denim. The Ogoldi has like a little bit more of a loose feel and look to them but they are still very much alike and I'd say this is like the best dupe you can possibly get. This pair of denim, I always get questions about it. This is also another great dupe for a pair of a goldie jeans that have the asymmetric um what would you call this this asymmetric detail here um a goldie has a pair like this i do not personally have them but i got this pair from princess polly they do still have them on their website i'll have that linked below and i will say that these jeans run big they run big just like the goldie ones do um i got a us zero in these the zero i would say still fits a little bit more baggy which i personally like however um the zero is the smallest size they have so if you are like a four i would say definitely get the zero and if you are anything smaller than that maybe still try them out in a size zero but they might be a little bit too big unfortunately we are slowly getting into the like medium wash denim more so this is another pair from abercrombie and these are the skinny high rise curve love jeans Curve Love is a line from Abercrombie it is meant for girls that are a little bit more curvy so that they could fit your curves like in all of the right places, your waist, your thighs, your butt, everything. And I personally do really like this line a lot. However, I found that if I get my true size in the line, they tend to be a little bit too big for me. So if I get a true 27 at Abercrombie and decided to get something from the Curve Love line, I would probably get a size 26 going forward. But I got a size 27 in these and I still really love them a lot. Another pair from Abercrombie and from the Curve Love line, this is the Ankle Straight Ultra High Rise Jeans. I got a size 27, again, would have sized down just specifically in the Curve Love line. But this is actually the same pair of jeans that I showed you at the beginning in white, the same type of line. They don't really have too much distressing going on. They do have a raw hem, which I really like, and a little bit of distressing on the pockets and around the waistline. Um, but yeah, these are a really nice pair of pants. Again, would wear them spring, summer, fall, more so than winter. 
These are the Mom High Rise Jeans that actually were co-created by Brie Shepard, which I had the lucky opportunity to work with them on the campaign for the release of these jeans. These kind of hold like a sentimental value to me, but they are literally perfect. They are definitely like a true medium wash jean with some distressing throughout, not anything too crazy. But my favorite part about the jeans is this raw hem at the bottom and how it has like an overlay kind of of a darker denim on top so these are super cool I got these in a size 27 they definitely are a little bit big I definitely wouldn't size down though um, I think they're meant to be big because they are a mom jean and if you can't tell already yes the brand that I go to most for my jeans is Abercrombie just because I feel as though I can rely on them for any type of pair of denim that I am looking for. I know my size and I know that they'll fit in all of the right places. So I highly recommend if you are like me um, that if you have not checked out Abercrombie, do not sleep on them because they are absolutely so amazing. This pair of denim from Abercrombie is their... Simone high rise super skinny jeans. I do really love this line of their jeans. They have so many different colors um, in this line and they fit extremely well. I have these in a size 27. I do believe they fit true to size. Um, they are definitely like a medium to dark wash almost and they have a little bit of lighter fading to them that look, makes them look a little bit more worn. I don't get too much use out of these. I bought these for a past job that I had. There are a few times here and there where I want a very clean pair of jeans, like a very skinny, clean pair of jeans to wear. And I think these are like the perfect ones to have around for those types of occasions or outfits that you're looking to put together. This next pair of denim is from Abercrombie again. It is a medium to dark wash with a ton of distressing on them. That same kind of raw hem with the darker jean wash material on top and some distressing on the pockets. This pair of jeans um, is the Annie High Rise Girlfriend jeans. I'm not sure if they still make these because this is actually my oldest pair of jeans that I have in my collection. I got these like over three years ago and I've loved them ever since. I keep them around because I do get some wear out of them still and I wear a size 27 in these as well. So these are super cute. I will link something very similar if I cannot find the exact pair of jeans below. To be honest, this should just be my Abercrombie jeans collection because I think there are only like, I can count on one hand how many pairs of jeans in my collection that aren't Abercrombie because the next three pair are. So this is another pair of Abercrombie jeans, again in that same ankle straight ultra high rise jean, a size 27, fits me so well. I get so many compliments on this pair of jeans as well when I wear them. It's a black pair of denim and it has a little bit of a fade to it to make it more casual. Two very simple rips in the knees, which I like, and then a raw hem, which again, I really love. I honestly, if you can't tell, don't really have too many pairs of skinny jeans in my collection just because I don't really wear them too much anymore. But this pair I've had for a little bit now, and it's the Abercrombie Simone High Rise Ankle Jeans. Again, the same line as the medium to dark wash ones. I got these in a size 27, and they have buttons, so they actually button up rather than zip. They have two rips in the knees on either side and then a raw hem. They are super simple and I dress these up and down mostly throughout the winter months and fall. But these are just a good classic pair of jeans to have on hand. The last pair of denim from Abercrombie is again the Simone High Rise Super Skinny uh, Jeans in a size 27. These are just like a true really deep black color. They do not have any rips in them and I have these just because when I want to dress up a little bit more and just want a simple black pair of jeans to wear because it looks very sleek with an outfit. So 
that's why I have these also I wore these a lot when I would go to business meetings in college so these look very sleek and professional too at the same time and the last pair of denim that I have to show you today is from Princess Polly they are a black kind of like a vintage looking vibe to them they have two pretty big rips in these and they come out like a flare almost they however are very very baggy and huge on me personally and i got these in a us2 so i definitely could have gone down to a size zero and i think they still would have been a little bit baggy so i would highly recommend if you plan on purchasing these to go down two sizes at least that is all for my jeans collection. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I am so obsessed with jeans and I'm sure I will be collecting more over the next year. So maybe I will do part two of this later down the road. But I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Check out all of the jeans, which will be in the description box below. Um, if I do have any like codes for money off available right now, they will be next to the links, so you can use those to get some money off. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.